are giving the coming supporter political fever. They are worried. They are jittering. Uh, as if I, I am not a war criminal. I say you accused. I say war. accused. You are. You I, are I, as a chance. War. You are pushing me to the war to bomb up Mr. Cummings, my good friend. I will not. But I will tell you, you should know your history, my friend. How the people on Nima were pushed or slaughtered, killed in cold blood of chickens and goats. I came and I fought in defense. Everywhere I passed, I provided a safe haven. Typical example, Bushwa Island. Yeah. I didn't go here on killing spree. And let me let you know, I am not afraid of war crime. Thank you. Bring the war crime, stop boasting about it, stop bragging about it, stop threatening people about it. Let the war crime, the war crime go come and we will face it. Another thing I want to tell you, Mr. Weir is not going to get a book. You're not going to win NIMBA. I am still very influential in NIMBA. I am the political godfather of NIMBA. The people of NIMBA listen to me. I agree with that. Uh, while we were about to have our program today, Mr. Weir and his collaborators, they were sent to NIMBA to build a scaffold in the middle of Kanta trying to form it trouble. I called upon the radio and called upon all the people of Nimba to call those smoke, opium smokers, drug addicts, and move on to Jackie's spot and let them celebrate on the other side of Kanta. They were looking for trouble. They are looking for trouble. We don't want trouble. But if they push us to the wall to resist, to retaliate, we will beg them to say enough is enough. We don't want any trouble from CDC. Now, you, the ANC supporters, I beg you, deal with the issue. If I am a criminal and I commit a crime, and you got, you got evidence to prove crime is not transferable. The MTRO is a political party incorporated under the law of the Republic of Liberia with 46 incorporators. According to the election law, you must have three persons for each country to serve as a chairperson, and they are the ones who incorporated the MDL, MDR, and elected me as a standard bearer, which I turned over during another election uh, last December to Honorable Jeremiah Cole. So let's deal with the issue, my friend. Let me ask you a question, Honorable uh, Prince Johnson, as we deal with the issue. May I will also ask you a question quick, please. At the program today, Ben Nayiro were absent. Your colleague, Senator Yombli Kanga Lawrence, Senator Delon, Senator Steve Zago, Senator Jonathan Cape, and all those folks that consider themselves opposition, you know them. They were absent. What's your message to Ben Nayiro and the rest of them? Well, I don't know why they were absent. Ben Nayiro, from my understanding, uh, would I want her to be a running mate to Mr. Boyka? Same thing with uh, 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 Yomri Kanga, Lawrence, and uh, uh, Costa himself. All of them wanted to be running mate. But you see, the man who is running, uh, JMB, or if it was anyone else, that person has a prerogative to decide on his or her own who should be the running mate. And now people to petition. There were too many people like Yombly, she had a group petitioning Mr. Boyka to be a running mate to him in America, even in Liberia. And JMB chose who he wanted to choose, uh, bearing the same ideology, somebody that he can trust, somebody that he can work with, Somebody that, that, that has the same uh, a principle. Now, let me just tell you something. Uh, Naomi Kanga Lawrence Senator is a chairperson on rule and order in the Liberian Senate. As a rule and order chairperson, she controls the discipline part of the Senate. We don't fight each other, we don't insult each other in timber. One day, the protest was absent. So the chairperson on executive, Sir Joseph was presiding during the session on that day. 
and there was an issue on the floor. I don't know exactly right now what it was, but that aggravated uh, Madam uh, Lawrence Kangal, baby, Jomri Kangal Lawrence, and she took the hot tea, hot tea, and wasted it on the face of Sir Joseph. Point the man. You are a rule and other person, chairperson, a senator in the Liberian Senate, wasting hot coffee water on the presiding, too temperamental, too aggressive, negatively aggressive. Is that the kind of person you want to be vice president under the, the, the Mr. Boyka? When you become president tomorrow or when you become a vice president, will you not do the same thing to your leader? So there are reasons why, and then besides, she doesn't have a party. The constitution says she has over there is replete with kind of elements that are divisive. Confusion is among them. If we must beat CC led by Mr. Weir and kick the other part out of, out, of, out, of, out, of, out of this country, you have to have a county that is more popular, that is more controlled, that the people can listen to. And that country is Nimba, the largest country to Maserato. And the leader in Nimba, they are leaders, but the people believe so much in me, they trust me. And I can tell you, with our son, the Remarco in the lead, Mr. George Weir is going to be flatly beaten. He will not get vote in our country. And now that he has been appointed or selected by Mr. Boyka, we now want to get to work and let our people know that we should vote Boyka and Co to say no to drugs. Now, my last question to you, but my last question, I'll bring the guys there in real quick. Thank you for calling us. James going to post this. We are receiving from Akira's Moses Gray page, his Facebook page. This is what he said, and I'd like for you to respond to it. The traitor, Cooper Crow, Minister of Post and Telecommunication, must resign and resign now. You are a dangerous sellout and good to have lunch with you on Monday. No room for political politics and questionings. He is asking him to resign now. We understand that's the other position that Joe we are offer your county, the minister of post, but the representative on executive, chair on executive, representative Karis Moses Gray is asking him and telling the president that this guy must go. What's your take on this message I Karis Gray posted on Facebook? Two things I have to say. One, I can't agree I believe Sunday is a chairperson on executive in the lower house. All matters relating uh, to the executive mansion, he's responsible for that in the lower house. He's not an official spokesperson of the party, CDC. Uh, apart from that, I can't agree needs to go to take drug tests because he, he doesn't seem to be normal. He smokes. I have seen him smoking many times. And I think he takes in cocaine also. That's what made him to evade the University of Liberia beating our children, his own constituents. Those students are within your constituencies, and many of them are your constituents. Flogging them. We are prepared to allow our people to resign, but it is their constitutional right to a job. So let me say we are dismissed them. The constitution says that the president has a right to offer a job to his citizens, to his citizens. So it is upon that ground, Mr. Cooper Crow is holding on to the position until he can be sacked. And we want Mr. Weir to sack the people. Otherwise, but there's a job. That's their responsibility. To own a job, to get a job, to work. And the, 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 the money they are paid with is not uh, Mr. Weir private money from his farm. That's the taxpayer money. And part of the money is from Nima County. Let us see. The mountain is, is for government, but it's located in our area and the, the social responsibility uh, funding they gave to us, which is nine million, as I speak to you, is what Mr. Weir has. So if you want to sack up a crop, welcome. Thank but you. Mr. Let, let's go around, let's go around right quick. One Mr. question each, uh, uh, Honorable Prince Johnson, please. We're going to start you with the ladies first, Dr. Richardson, Salamatu, and we'll take it from there. Dr. Richardson? Uh, Senator Johnson. 
in as much as I may not agree with Senator Kanga on many uh, issues, I think your description of her today as someone who is aggressive because she was upset and threw a cup of tea at Sad Joseph, I think is kind of unfit and uncalled for because someone could say that you were at the scene when when Master Sergeant, the president of Liberia Do, got killed, and that could be seen as an aggression that you contributed to his torture and his death. That also makes you unfit. Oh, madam, 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 that was war. Madam, yeah. this man took 300 babies, children alive. Mr. Johnson, can, 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 can I finish? Can I finish? Senator Johnson, can I finish, please? Senator Johnson, can I finish, please? I understand that. I understand. I understand. I know you love people. 300 babies were brought here. Well, you're not giving me a chance to finish talking to the senator. Senator, you're not giving me a chance to finish Okay. I said you're not giving me a chance to finish. I understand what you're saying. You always say it was war, and I understand your context. But I'm just saying that you just made an analogy that Senator Kanga is unfit to be a vice presidential candidate because perhaps she, she was, you know, upset that day and she, you know, threw tea at um, Senator Saad Joseph. Therefore, she's aggressive That's and it right. makes her. And it makes her unfit to be a vice president because she could do that to her leader. So someone could use, I'm just telling you, someone could use the same analogy that says you you are now calling yourself the political godfather. You are saying that crime is not transferable, yet and still you are you are on the crime scene that contributed to torture and killing uh uh president Go. So someone could transfer that still seems uh a worse to you that you are, you are aggressive. You, you don't unfit to be a senator or the political leader of nearby country. So I'm just telling you that I, that didn't sit well with me. And the, now you didn't sit well with me. The first thing, the, the first thing Madam Chenoway, if you saw the video, you never saw me torturing Doe. I never said contributed. I used a very key word, word here, sir. Sir, Senator, I said contributed. I said contributed. I didn't say you killed Doe. Senator, 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 I would have been shot. It was a bad situation. That's why I was calling the foreign embassy, Sunshine Tango, Sunshine Tango. I wanted to get a direction, what to do. I wanted to get an advice. Let us start this do. part of the story, man. Who was shooting? Thank you. Who are who, who's gonna who gonna ask questions? Who's next? Oh, Sarah Matu? For the record, for the record, I said that Okay, thank you, Sarah Go ahead. This situation of uh Yomi is not a war time. It's a peace time. We are in timber. You cannot, you cannot be rude and other chairperson and you wasting hard water on somebody. No. Let, let's go to Salamatu real quick. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, um, Senator Johnson. I guess my question. Yes, you know, <laughs> uh, my question is um, one: We understand you are a key player, key stakeholder in this election. Uh, regardless, regardless of our personal feelings towards you, um, you are a, a key player, right? We we understand that. I think sometimes what we have a problem with, and we also understand why Nimba feels you as protecting them. We can understand that, right? Um, but I think what a lot of us sometimes have a problem with, and I think I asked you this the last time you were on the show when we're talking about war crimes court, and I think I asked you in the absence of a war crimes court, how do the victim um, 
get redress or you know justice what else can be done to satisfy the victim because when we talk about war crime sport it's not really a personal thing to aim at somebody it's something for the victims the victims feel like they need something to be able to move on so when we bring it up war crime sport um and we're talking about you know the fact that one of our key our key uh, partner is the United States. We can't divorce ourselves from that, that concept. And the fact that the United States uh, seem to have some kind of problem with you um, and us not doing the war crime sport as it relates to having you uh, prosecuted within the war crime sport. And I'm glad that you said, you know what? Y'all you stop threatening me with our war crime sport. You'll bring it uh, so you can be able to go on trial and defend yourself. But for somebody like me, who is a young Liberian, um, I think about, yeah, Chris Johnson protected Nimba. I get it. But there are other, there, there were 14 other counties and several other tribes that people actually had a problem with you, uh, Senator. Uh, and in two cases, it's very personal to me because two of these people are my close friends. They have accused um, you. They've named you. You've been named. Um, and I will use the word allegedly because, again, in the absence of a court where you go in and you defend yourself, you are not guilty. This has all been, a, you know, you have been accused. Eric Scott is one of the person. He was the father of um, two of my closest, uh, my close friends. Um, and then, of course, there was the Cumsey Roberts. Um, and every time... We, we have you on the show. There are people who send me messages um, because they, they, they tend, you know, it, it brings back that this guy, yeah, we understand that he was protecting Nimba, but in protecting Nimba, there were 14 other counties that, you know, there were victims, you know, became alleged victims of some of his crimes. So when we're talking about Jeremiah Kuhn, the only connection most of us can come with Jeremiah Cohen is the fact that we feel you raised his hand. You brought him to JMB. You may not have, but that's the, the rumor out there. That, that's the, the consensus out there that you were responsible for bringing Jeremiah Cohen to JMB. So, in that, and I say all that thing, do you think? That this TK, I know you supported, uh, you, you, you're sure that they will win Nima, even though I believe that Nima will be split, but you're sure they will win Nima. Do you think the fact that there is this sort of monkey hanging over you with the I, the ICC, I'm sorry, not the ICC, the uh, war crimes court, um, do you think that may be a factor in preventing this TK from happening? I Madam Salaman, let me say this to you. Bring the war crime court. Stop talking about war crime court. Just bring it. All of us want to know what happened to our people. I want to know what happened to the Nimbanian at the Lutheran Church. I want to know the Greystone Compound, what happened. I want to know who killed my people at JFK Massacre. I want to know who brought the 300 babies to Marovia from the Mono Busa and dumped them in a well. I want to know. So if you think that I came here to redeem the people and I went extra mile to killing people at random, while at the same time I was disciplining my soldier for wrongdoing, bring the war crown court. You're talking about the council robbers. Those are different issues. I have clear evidence, written document. I have video evidence that I did not kill the council robbers. But if you think I did, don't talk about war crime court. You can say America has never accused me of war crime court. It is you Liberian talking. So bring the war crime court. When you bring it, we all will go. One thing I'm happy, that there were times our people could not say Babu, Babu. Whenever you spoke those two dialects, you were slaughtered. People were driving in Baden from their homes. Those who were tenants. And they ran away and went back to their home in Nimba. And the government pursued them 
and begin to rape the women in front of their parents, in front of their, their children. So we have to fight. The war is over. We are making meaningful development. But if you think that we committed crime and you stay dwelling on the past, get to those who you think are bringing the war crime code, we will all attend. But if you want the war crime code on the basis of the TRC, then I will tell you the TRC has hit the rock. It was meant for reconciliation. It was turned into a political weapon. And that's why the commissioners that made up the TRC commission divided into two groups and they were at local hell with each other. So, but we're not afraid. I'm a powerful, strong former general. I'm not afraid. I fought for freedom. I'm a revolutionary. But I know my rule of engagement. But if I did anything wrong to people, killing people, not just allegations, because Liberian people, y'all can lie. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all can lie too much. You can lie on people, no evidence. So bring the war crime. They got board. video of you no, up no, on no, Reddit. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do the acid fire. You have to give the gentleman a chance, please. Fagon, you want to come in? Fagon, you want to ask your question? You want to speak? We got to move on. No, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's 7 p.m. Let me, let me make a comment, please. Um, to so, so guys, this is what we're going to do, Honorable Prince Johnson. Uh, we're going to we, we're going to say thank. We uh, listen. I'm saying thanks to you. Uh, it is important that we protect our guests, gentlemen. Please keep your question short. Okay. It's after seven, please. All right. And All right. Uh, 